Hello everyone! In our previous episode we learned about time tracking and how users can use Activity Timeline to log their worked hours as well as generate different timesheet reports. Today we will learn about our Report Analytics module, where you can get an insight into your resource utilization as well as forecast future capacity. Let's start this overview with our main report, Resource Utilization Report. This report provides a great insight into the capacity of your team. You can generate it as a summary report or detailed by project or epic to understand how much time is planned for each project. This report is available in web and excel formats. A summary report shows how your users are utilized across all of their projects. This report shows what is the total available capacity of the users and teams in the period, how much of that capacity is currently utilized and what is the rate of the utilization. The data shown here is taken from the time estimated of the tasks assigned to users on their timeline. By default, the report is generated in percentage, but also available in hours, days or even weeks. As mentioned earlier, you can detail this view by project or epic if you would like to know exactly how much time user is planned for each activity. If users are assigned to tasks from different projects, you will see exactly how much time of his or her capacity each project occupies. The next report on our list is a project resource report. It is a little similar to the previous one, but instead of looking at teams, it provides a view from the project perspective. In this view, you can see the name of the project and all of the resources assigned to the project for the selected period, so you understand what resources are being spent there. Moving on to the next report, which is a detailed work log report. This is a work log based report in the table format which could be customized with the Jira custom fields. You can also add different bookings and non-working events in the report. Last, but definitely not the least from our feature report is a planned versus actual report. This report allows you to understand if your team estimates their task correctly and if you're on track with your project. It can be generated per issue, project or epic. You can also create a report either from the entire project or a subset of tickets using Jira filters. The main idea behind this report is to compare the planned time against the actual, which consists of time spent and time remaining. Ideally, the original estimate should be equal to the time spent plus remaining estimate, in this case the task is on track. In case original estimate is bigger than the time spent and time remaining, it will mean that the task was overestimated initially. And vice versa, if the planned time is smaller than the actual, task was underestimated. The report will also show you the summary for the project as well as its deviation from the initial plan. In case you use Jira Epic functionality, you can also generate planned versus actual report to track the progress of the Epic, which takes into account all of the stories, tasks and subtasks in any particular Epic. Now, if we switch to tab with all reports, we will have many more useful of them. Here is a quick overview of some of the most useful ones. Skill Availability Report This report is great when you need to find people with specific skill set for a potential project. Timeline Report This is essentially an Excel version of your planning view, which is very useful when you need to present it to your clients or executives. Vacation Report it's a quick way to see how many days off, sick leaves and vacations each team member had during the month or year. With Activity Timeline, you can bookmark all of your favorite reports. You can later share it with all the users or just people who have manager permissions. When you have your reports bookmarked, you can make a recurring report, either in your external calendar or by simply creating a recurring event on the timeline. That's it for today, we have covered some of the most commonly used reports in Activity Timeline and learned how to bookmark them and create recurring reports. However, that's not all we have and we will explore more features in our next videos. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our support, 
which is support at realize.com. See you in our next episodes.